Hi, this is Sunil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lab on C++ programming. So in the last tutorial, we have learned about the virtual functions in C++. You know, when a virtual function is not redefined by a derived class, the version defined in the base class will be used. If any derived class redefinition is there, then that will be used. However, in many situations, there can be no meaningful definition of a virtual function within the base class. For example, a base class may not be able to define an object sufficiently to allow a base class virtual function to be created. Further, in some situations, you will want to ensure that all derived classes override a virtual function. So at that time, we can use the pure virtual functions. You know, the situations where, you know, we can't define the virtual functions in a base class and also, you know, when you want to make sure that, you know, every derived class of a base class must override a particular function or method, you know, at that time we can use the pure virtual function. So here in this tutorial for the demonstration purpose, I'm going to create a class and let's call it as person and here let's have the public access specifier and we're gonna create a virtual function called introduce so void introduce so in the previous tutorial you know we have um, defined the body of this introduce function and also we have created the classes like student and like that and you know we have redefined this introduce method in that derived classes but in this case what we're gonna do is we don't know what type of person we're gonna create from this base class but you know we want to make sure that every class which is gonna derive from this person should override this introduce method at that time what we can do is we can use the pure virtual function to define a pure virtual function first we need to write the virtual keyword and then the method name you know the return type method name and in this parenthesis if this method takes any parameter we need to specify that in this case it's not going to take any parameters and the next one is the important thing that is nothing but we need to write equal to zero and then semicolon that's it you know we are just prototyping this method here in this class person or in this base class so whatever the class which is going to inherit from this person class now have to override this introduce method or define the body of this introduce method. If they fail to do that, then the compiler is going to generate the error. So just to demonstrate that, I'm going to create another class and let's call it as student. And uh, this student class is going to be overriding from the person class. It's going to be public inheritance and uh, person. All right. In this student class let's have public access specifier and then we need to override this introduce method from this base class otherwise the compiler is going to generate error so just to demonstrate that i'm going to create an object of this class student and it's going to be student and let's say anil and if i build and run this i'll get the error and if i open up the logs it says cannot declare variable anil to be of abstract type or student all right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create or define this introduce method so it's gonna be introduce it's not gonna take any parameters and also we need to have the return type which is y and here we're just gonna say hi i am a student all right let's end this line and add the semicolon okay now if i create this object we won't get any error and i'm gonna call the introduce method also introduce all right now i'm gonna build and run this program and you guys can see we get hi i am a student so when we have a pure virtual function in the base class we need to override that function in the derived classes all right the next thing that i want you guys to teach you is about defining this virtual method you know in the base class normally in real world programming there will be less chances of defining the pure virtual methods in the base class you know some people say that you know we can't do that in the base class but we can do that to do that we can't define it inside the definition of this class person but we can use a scope resolution operator and we can do that and just to demonstrate that only i'm gonna define the body of this introduce so first it's gonna be the return type of the method and then the class name 
and then the scope resolution operator and then the method name which is introduce all right no parameters and here i just want to say hey from person all right let's end this line okay i have the semicolon here not the colon build and run this program and now you know it works without any error and we have you know defined a pure virtual function in a base class only all right now if you want to call this introduce method in this um, derived class overridden method then uh, i'm going to use person and then the scope resolution operator and introduce and let's see whether it calls it or not i'm going to build and run this and now you guys can see hi from student hey from person but if i want to implement this introduce method you know when we define that pure virtual method in the base class we'll get the error just to demonstrate that i'm gonna remove this here and i'm gonna save this i'm gonna build and run this see we get the error and if i open up the logs it says cannot declare variable anil to be of abstract type all right the next thing that i want you guys to teach you is about the abstract classes so an abstract class is nothing but a class which contains one or more pure virtual meta so here we have a virtual meta in this class person and that's why we can say that you know this person is an abstract class so when we have an abstract class in our program we can't create the object from that class so here just to demonstrate that i try to create an object from this class person so it's gonna be person and let's say anjali and now if i try to build and run this we'll get the error all right now the error and if i open up the logs it says cannot declare variable anjali to be of abstract type person so when we have a pure virtual function in a class in a base class you know that class becomes the abstract class and when we have an abstract class we can't create the objects of that class and the next thing is what is the use of these abstract classes an abstract class serves as an incomplete type that can be used as the foundation for the derived classes so a pure virtual function is nothing but a function with a definition which we have here you know with equal to zero and also one more thing here equal to zero doesn't mean that this function equals to a value of zero it's just the definition of the pure virtual function so a pure virtual function is a function with a definition like this and um, we can define the pure virtual function in the base class but we need to use the scope resolution operator and we need to do it outside the class definition and then when we have a pure virtual function the classes which are going to derive from that that base class should override that virtual method or the pure virtual method and if a class has one or more pure virtual function then that class is called an abstract class because you know that class contains one or more incomplete methods and that's why we can't create an object from that class or from an abstract class so this is it guys this is about the pure virtual functions and the abstract classes in c thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel like my facebook page and stay updated with the latest videos that we're gonna make and i'll see you in the next tutorial